Hi everybody, it's Big Ed Mustafa. Welcome to another exciting, white-knuckled, riveting edition of Adventures After Dark. I'm your host, I'm Big Ed Mustafa. I will be with you here on Lotro Stream for the next few hours. We will be exploring, adventuring, questing, deeding, skirmishing, epically battling, and who knows what the heck else might be going on. I may or may not be joined by the lovely and everescent Zinger, unless he's found anything better to do tonight. But hope remains eternal that uh, Zinger will uh, run out of other options and begrudgingly come and hang out with me for the next few hours. He's always a delight to have, but if he doesn't make it, we'll find a way to have fun without him. So thanks for joining me, and hello to everybody out there who's watching this later on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy the streams and are enjoying them as well. Without further ado, let's figure out what the heck we want to do tonight. Uh, last time we left off, uh, Zinger and I had been uh, knocking out some quests in Minas Borgul, and we wrapped up a little bit early, so we went and knocked out some of the uh, lesser known deeds in Middle Earth uh, and Galandriel was a good example I had known about most of them but had not done them on her she was my original playthrough character and uh, we went and got the Fisher King title in Enid Waith, the Ridge Racer title in Aragian which I kept assuring everybody was not Ridge Racer it was called Ridge Runner because if it were named after the racing game that was part of the original PlayStation launch back in the day, surely I would have remembered that, which I did not remember and had just been telling everybody the wrong name for that deed and title. It is Ridge Racer. I'm an idiot. But if you've been watching, you already know. Anyhow, uh, we also went and did uh, Master Ascender in uh, Mirkwood. That's a fun one. Lots of climbing and crawling around the walls of uh, the main hub there. And uh, there's apparently a title that I need to do more questing in Lothlorien to get. Eh, I'm not going to bother with that tonight. That'll be probably more of an off-stream kind of thing. It is Fall Festival. Uh, I do not dislike Fall Festival. It's usually pretty fun. Uh, apparently my bags are full, so I don't have room for that. So, yeah, let's get right to the inventory management. That seems to be an extremely high priority at this point. Fortunately, I do know where to go to manage my inventory. So I will work on that. Puppet Box is checking in. Hello, Puppet Box. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Puppet Box is normally my... Uh, checker to make sure I show up on time but I was actually chatting with him right before I launched uh, tonight so uh, I'm going to blame Puppet Box for me not being my usual punctual self and starting uh, upwards of 10 minutes late this evening. It says warning server not responding. Uh, I think that's just a chatty error. Everything looks fine. So whatever that error was for seems to have cleared itself up nicely. Man, what an exciting week. We'll try to get some PC hardware talk out of the way before Zinger shows up because it all bores him terribly. He does not want to know how the sausage is made. Uh, he just wants to enjoy it at breakfast. I, on the other hand, very much enjoy playing around with PC hardware, building custom computers for friends, loved ones, and anyone gullible enough to let me help them spend their money. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty exciting. We got the launch of the RTX 3070 this week. Uh, it was announced, and then two days later they lifted the review embargoes on it. Uh, and it's fantastic. For $499 suggested retail, you can now get a card that's as fast as the $1,200 plus dollar, uh, RTX 2080 Ti. So that's pretty fantastic. Uh, and I think the original shipment of those is already sold out. Uh, NVIDIA has been struggling to keep up with demand. Uh, their new video card products are smoking red hot. There have been stories coming out of California about people actually camping out at Micro Center uh, just in the hopes that a shipment will show up and they'll be there to buy them when the truck arrives. Um, 
That's pretty crazy. I don't remember hearing that about previous video card launches. And just when you thought things couldn't get any wackier, uh, AMD, right in the middle of everything, announces their new R or their RX 6000 series Radeon cards. And these new Radeon cards, for the first time in a long time, uh, appear to be just as fast as NVIDIA's top-end cards, uh, and maybe even better value propositions. The new RX 6800 uh, is a little more expensive than the base uh, RTX 3070 card, but it's got double the video memory. So a lot of people were concerned about buying a new high-end card that only had 8 gigs of video RAM. Because if you're going to play on a 4K screen, that might be limiting. In these dark but with 16 days, we gigs on the new Radeon card and being even slightly faster for nearly the same price, a lot of people are pretty excited about that. But they announced the uh, 8600 8, uh, RX, no, TX, XT. <laughs> All the letters are jumbling together in my mind. So you've got the 6800, the 6800 XT, and uh, that card is uh, supposed to be just as fast or slightly faster than the new RTX 3080. You can see why my head is just getting scrambled with all this stuff. Why Zinger hates hearing about it. Because, um, yeah, it gets a little confusing if you don't keep up with it. Uh, and that card is actually less expensive than the RTX 3080, which uh, has also been uh, wildly unavailable. Um, those have been out of stock. People have been lining up trying to buy those, and it's, they're just harder than hen's teeth to find. And then, uh, not to be outdone, uh, the RTX 3090, NVIDIA's top-end card, sells for $1,500. AMD announced their new Radeon 6900 uh, XT, and it is purported to be just as fast as the RTX 3090, uh, only it's only $999 instead of $1,500. Now the caveat is the NVIDIA cards will be faster when ray tracing, but the new AMD cards do support ray tracing. Uh, initial leaks I haven't seen any benchmarks yet but there have been some rumors that basically the performance will not be as good as the Nvidia cards but it should be pretty comparable to the last generation of uh, RTX 2000 series cards now the reality is almost nobody has ray tracing built into any of their games ironically the only games that support ray tracing completely are uh, Quake 2 uh, and which is a 20 year old shooter and uh, they built a tech demo around that and actually released it to show off complete ray tracing global illumination yada 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 also Minecraft they have a beautifully rendered uh, um, ray traced uh, version of Minecraft available and it does look spectacular so if uh, you're huge into Minecraft but you don't want it to run particularly fast Ray tracing is a great way to slow down your frame rate to a, a much more uh, slow level. And uh, you'll be able to do that on either AMD or NVIDIA cards. And a lot of the technology is coming straight out of what AMD developed for the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X consoles. And they're going to start shipping here in a couple weeks, right after we decide who our next president's going to be. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that in the States. Uh, with the election day coming up, basically it doesn't really matter which political party ends up shafting the American citizens, but we'll all be happy to have all the stupid campaigns over and done with and off of our television sets. So we're pretty excited about that. Donnie checking in. Hello, Donnie. We're glad to have you with us. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, it's, we're always happy. Win, lose, or draw. If you're emotionally invested in a political candidate, get over it. Uh, they are lying to you and don't care about you in the slightest. That's just how politicians are. And you're going to get fleeced and shafted by whomever is in power. That's why they want to be in power, so they can fleece and shaft us. Uh, that having been said, um, it'll be nice to not have to watch the same campaign ads over and over and over and over. And I've really enjoyed having them inserted into... 
uh, the YouTube channels that I watch as well as regular television, cable television, radio ads, Pluto TV, and just about any other source of media that I watch. So uh, whatever the political parties have spent on advertising this year, it's been too much. And we really need to res restrict their budgets so that no campaign can spend over $10,000 in advertising. And that way they won't be filling up my mailbox with junk postcards four years from now. Uh, he, nobody reads this stuff. I mean, it's good for printers and it's good for television studios and radio stations. But I don't know anybody who's like, well, I was totally going to vote for candidate A. And then I got this postcard in the mail. So I'm totally switching. It's like, doesn't happen. But uh, they just like to get name recognition out there. I, I don't understand why they spend such a fortune on marketing. But uh, that's okay. That's for smarter people to figure out. So that's the state of things this week. We've got the new AMD uh, Zen 3 core Ryzen 5000 series processors uh, shipping right after Election Day. Uh, we get a new Congress and we get a, possibly a new president. And then we get new Ryzen processors from AMD uh, starting November 5th. And they are supposed to be the fastest gaming chips in the world. Uh, better than even the top of the line uh, 10th generation Intel chips. But we won't know for sure till the benchmarks come out next week. Looking forward to hearing and reading all about that. It's very exciting. Black Book of Mordor. I got seven pack spaces open and still can't open that box. That's very frustrating to me. Um, you know what? I'm just going to sell some sinister wings because I don't really care. Although maybe I shouldn't sell those. Maybe those are turn inable somewhere that matters. I don't know for sure. Pebbled filth. I don't have my dwarf rep maxed out yet. Problem is, I have to go out to the dwarf lands to turn that in. Which I'm not really doing anything here in Lothlorien. Maybe I should just do that. Scarhald, here we come. We'll do some task item turn-ins, and then maybe I can finish this inventory management. Get ready, though. Sooner rather than later, we will be checking to see what my Silver Hobbit present is tonight. As always, I will give you, the loyal viewer, a chance to guess what it is ahead of time. Don't guess yet, but that will be coming up. We'll see if we can give a new car away tonight. It might be Matchbox, it might be Hot Wheels, but if you can guess what the Hobbits give me, you're the first person to guess it, and you're spot on correct. You can't just say a pile of scraps. It has to be a massive pile of copper scraps. It has to be a potion of battle restoration. Be specific. Daleman's Crams is a legit guess. But if you guess what they give me, you're the first person to guess that item. You win a new car. And uh, we'll take care of that here in a little bit. Get ready for that. That will be exciting. So I do have enough room to finish my uh, Fall Festival uh, notification quest. Where is that task board? I think it's back here around the corner. So thankfully I remember. Jim Jim 2423 says, wait, so I can't vote for who I want? Yeah, vote for whoever you want. I can watch football next week without campaign ads. It's going to be spectacular. Ski checking in says it will not be over for at least a month after the election with each side fighting. Greetings all. Hi, Ski. I know, but at least then, instead of political ads, we'll be watching news coverage of all of the rioting. Just, it doesn't matter who wins. People will be out in the streets looting and setting things on fire. It's going to be awesome television. And not uh, interrupted by campaign ads anymore, so that's a good thing. So let's see what we can turn in here. Um... Sinister Wings, not a thing. Where would I turn those in at? Uh, we do have Pebbled Filth, Stone Worn Furs. Pebbled Filth isn't a thing here. Stone Abraded Skin. Oh, don't tell me I don't have anything that's actually turn inable. Dwarf Sword Sheaths, no. Ancient Sword Sheaths. Lots of Ancient Sword Sheaths. A lot of this stuff is for the next area. I don't know that I've really got anything to turn in in the Dwarf area. This was a miscalculation on my part. Maybe this is for the Vale of Anduin, which I may have gotten kindred with. Let's check the rep board. Great Alliance, White Company done. 
Wilder folk I'm just friends with. Grey Mountains, Dwarves of Eriabor, Elves of Felagoth, I'm only friends with, Men of Dale, I'm friend status. I don't, this, this has to get completed. This bugs me. I can't stand coming here and not seeing those maxed out. I mean, I, yeah, I like getting the rep bars maxed. It's a compulsion. Not so much with the Ale Association, but everybody else. So, a little frustrated that I don't have anything to turn in. Piles of disgust and filth. And the problem is, once you get past level 110 on your task items, they haven't added the one, what is it, 121 to 130 board to the housing areas. So I have to hop around like in the bad old days to figure out where to go turn this stuff in. And I don't have all the travel points because my pocket hunter hasn't logged on yet. But I can at least sell some stuff and let's see what the hobbits have for me. Hello, Mr. Supplier. I would like you to buy, buy some my junk. Puppet boxes, I felt so strongly about this candidate, but decided to completely throw all of that out away because I got the 18th piece of junk mail in this crispy type 12 aerial font. Exactly. Donnie, I'm doing great tonight. Thank you for asking. stack of those things. Uh, I think they're all sure I don't really think I need to bank that. Okay, is that enough to get rid of that box finally? How do I still not have enough room for that? Okay, we'll keep going. Just keep selling stuff, Ed. It'll do you good. Yeah, a pinch of rare Minas Tirith spice. And I'll probably keep that. Essence of Restoration, Incoming Healing. Yeah, I don't care. Goodbye. Thick Carapaces. Yeah, goodbye. Now can I open the box? Ah, thank goodness. Okay. He says, to me, my opinion only is that too many treat political parties the way they do their sports teams. The people do not matter. What they do or what they say do not matter, as long as they have whatever letter before their name. Fan worship, sort of. Okay, no more talk for me. Yeah, it's, you know, and I was a poli-sci major, so maybe I spend more time worrying about stuff. I, I think it would be a very interesting if a third party ever got legitimized in the United States. Um, I, political parties were never uh, part of the original design of the U.S. Constitution, and they just kind of got created and added later on, and then they started making their own rules to protect themselves. And I often joke that the the donkeys and the elephants are basically like the crips and the bloods it's like two gangs who are fighting over a street corner turf and the u.s taxpayer is the turf that they're fighting over um and at the end of the day i mean it's the whole thing just sort of seems more like an old boys club where <laughs> it's like okay well we're gonna divvy up this scam and you guys can have that scam and and we'll just point to each other and blame each other when everybody's unhappy and then nobody will know who to be mad at. It's just like, ugh, politics is ugly business. So that's my take on the matter, and I'll just be glad when the whole stupid election thing is over with. Although they keep starting the election cycle over and over and over. The biggest problem we've had here in the States is that this presidential campaign's been going on for two full years now. And I think we're all pretty tired of hearing about it. It's, uh, 
South Park pretty much nailed this problem years and years ago when the kids at school had to vote on their class or their was a class president or school president and it was a giant douche or a turd sandwich it seems to be what comes around every year so we'll drop that topic and move on to happier things like questing adventuring and wrecking fools in middle earth that's why we come here for a little bit of escape and enjoyment and Forgetting about all of the horrible stuff that's out there so we can enjoy what's in here. We can worry about Warsteed cosmetics and getting our legendary weapons leveled up and imbued and uh, grinding for a handful of Starlet Crystals. You know, things that really matter. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys joining me tonight and to show that appreciation. Right now is your chance to win a brand new car. Possibly Matchbox, maybe Hot Wheels, but put in your guesses right now. We'll give you 15 seconds. Guess what my silver hobbit present is. You have to be specific. Don't just say a potion. Don't just say pile of scraps. Be specific. If somebody else guesses what you were going to guess, pick something different. Tell me what my hobbit present is, and we'll close the guesses in 15 seconds. We'll see what you guys come up with here. Puppet Box says massive pile of copper scraps. Ski says lifetime supply of Coke Zero. Singer says minor potion of morale. Zinger, you put up with me so much. If you win, I may send you both a matchbox and a Hot Wheels car if you end up being the winter. Sendro says purple Matham Hunter's armor. So not that the armor will be purple, but the box will have a purple background. I understand what that means. Like, what the heck is that there? Yeah, that's. I think that's a purple Matham Hunter's armor box. I already have one. So yeah, let's see if I get another one. Zendros will be the big winner. Okay, I'll give you guys about 10 more seconds. Let's get some more guesses in if you guys want to win a free car. Guess what my Hobbit present's going to be, and hopefully we'll have a lucky winner, and I can give somebody watching now a free car. A new car. Still in the blister pack. Right off the store shelf wall. Closing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't mind telling you, I'm rooting for Ski. I hope Ski is correct and the Hobbits will just keep the Coke Zero flowing. Uh, I don't actually have one in front of me right now. I would not mind chugging one. Uh, Meadows car, Meadows carman. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Random relic pack. Nobody guessed it. It's like the hobbits can hear you and just to screw with you, nobody ever guesses the hobbit present. It's extremely frustrating. I need a random relic pack like uh, a hunter needs a tracking tome. That's what I got. So we'll have to roll with it. I appreciate everybody taking your best guess. I was hoping to give a new car away. Didn't happen tonight. Maybe it'll happen next week. Come back by and find out. And my random relic pack turned out to be a Ruby Gen of Fortune Tier 6. So that is fantastic. Much like Lou Gehrig, I feel right now like I may be the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Because I got a random relic pack. Mrs. Mustafa is sneezing. She must have put too much pepper in the eggs. So, she's threatened to feed me tonight. You actually may see me get poisoned on camera. Uh, I was just getting ready to make myself some snacks to bring in with me, and she was like, I was going to make an omelet. Do you want one? I'm like, yeah, okay. So, we'll see what she comes up with. Deed complete. Defense of Lorien. There should be a title for that, too. Um, Fleeting Ally of Lorien. It's interesting, if you haven't run the Battle of Lorien like uh, Zinger and I did last week, uh, this is an um, incrementing title. The more times that you run this and the more times that you win the Battle of Lorien, this ratchets up and you get uh, more and more impressive sounding titles. 
And like I said, I'll probably just for fun work on that some other time, but I don't think I want to focus on that uh, uh, on stream tonight. We'll find something better to do. So, Zinger, are you in voice chat? Yes, sir. Welcome. How has your week been going, good sir? Uh, same as every other week. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you're here anyway. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream that hopefully for your own sake you'd have found something better to do on a Friday night, but I'm glad you didn't, so I appreciate the company. Uh, I tried to get all the PC hardware talk out of the way before you hopped in. Hopefully you didn't have to hear too much of that, but uh, welcome. It's okay. You do your thing. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. So I don't plan on buying any new computer hardware for quite a while. I have to admit I'm pretty happy with my setup. Uh, if there was anything on my wish list for Santa Claus this year, I have a, a nice 27-inch 144 hertz monitor. Uh, it's 1080p, and it's a TN panel. Um, I wouldn't mind moving it over as my secondary monitor and getting a 1440p 144 hertz uh, IPS monitor. But, you know, first world problems. It's not like I really need that. In fact, for as bad as TN panels are supposed to be, relatively speaking, I still think my ViewSonic monitor looks fantastic. I mean, it's the nicest monitor I've ever owned. So until I actually spring for an even higher spec monitor, uh, I'll continue to be extremely happy with the one I am looking at right now. But, yeah, otherwise everything else is great PC hardware-wise. It's great to see him pushing the envelope, though, and uh, I actually bought shares of AMD stock for my niece and nephew, so the fact that uh, a little slice of their portfolios is continuing to perform well and that their AMD stock should stay nice and highly valued for the foreseeable future is a good thing. Um, I'm glad AMD's doing well. We need competition in both the video card and CPU market. And boy, have those guys been bringing it the last couple of years. So it's good to see. Um, what should we do tonight? What are you in the mood for? Hobnanigans? Fall Festival? Do we have more to do in Minas Morgul? Uh, I mean, there's the Black Book and stuff like that. We can continue if we want. Uh, we, we can do uh, Fall Fest if you want. That's fine. Mm, no, not particularly. If we've got Black Book content to do, let's do that. <clears throat> and Mrs. Mustafa has come through. <laughs> I take it the omelet didn't turn out, so I get scrambled eggs. Oh, I wasn't going to ever make omelet. It was you just said scrambled omelet. eggs. Okay. I got toast and bacon and eggs, and then she brought me a glass of milk and even a fork to eat with. So that is the official snack for tonight. Thank you, Pookie. Is there any particular color of glass I should be looking for in here? <laughs> I guess not. To her credit, she normally does pretty good with bacon and eggs. So, and I think she put a lot of mushrooms in them and probably some onion. It's almost like Mrs. Mustafa brought me a hobbit breakfast. Oh, and I gotta clean out some mail that bounced back. Oh, it's all that lore stuff. I've gotta find a place for that. That's another day's project as well. Storage is a real issue for me, which should surprise nobody. Okay, I am going to magically port myself to Estelad Lawn. Uh, the first thing, um, uh, there's an instance discovery in Moria that uh, we can go grab if we want. So I actually want to go to Moria? Um, I'm going to a summoning horn. I'll, I'll call you. Moria or Mordor? Moria. Okay. Donnie says that's what I had for breakfast this morning. 
Ski says, I got wings, cosmetic wings, in the Fall Festival. I've always loved playing characters in D&D like Avariel, Feather-Winged Elves, or Neomus, Elves with Bat Wings. Sadly, those characters do not exist, but I got Black Raven Wings in Lotro now. They are small, but still look cool. Puppet Box says, nothing better than going to grab a snack and instead having a plate of bacon and eggs hand delivered. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Mustafa spoils me. I try to spoil her back when I can. I will wait for the summons. Yep, I'm making my way over to the uh, horn. Alright, give me more of a chance to eat. I want the bacon and eggs and toast to get cold. Mustering now. We haven't been to Mori in a long time. We ride for this new instance that we need to find. I was just trying to figure out exactly where we were at. Um, this is like in the back of the um, Foundations of Stone. Yeah, I know Foundations pretty well, but it, maybe it's just where we came in. Yeah, I think around back, yeah, back there it's like where, um, I guess DN is or something. Oh, this is the lower levels. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. I'm used to coming in by the main um, encampment. They, they added this, um, like little instance around... Somewhere maybe between um, Minas Morgul and the uh, Wells of Lang Flood. And it was like tied behind like a whole quest line, but then they just, you don't have to do the whole quest line, you just have to discover it. I, uh, I, I just wanted to grab it while, you know, I can port us right back to Minas Morgul. Okay, cool. Uh, the uh, instance discovery. Ascod Mazal, the Chamber of Shadows. Yeah. We don't have to run it now. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Like I said, I, I uh, locked out this character at the Shadowed Refuge, just so I can remember. Yeah, okay. And you're going to port us? Um, the same where we are in the black book. Okay. Epilogue. An incomplete key. This should take us where we need to go next. Okay. Back to the dwarf holds. Yep, yep. Find someone who knows about the broken key. We ride to find someone. And for glory. 
It's hard to sound Rohiric when you're on a goat. Okay, remind me not to fall down the crack and drop an S-bomb by accident. So far, so good. I'm Apex, buddy. I know. I try to keep it classy no matter what the game is. It's really hard to stay classy playing Apex. Terrible, terrible game and nobody should play Apex Legends ever. And I can't wait for Season 7 to start next week, too. It's a big week next week. We get Season 7 of Apex. We get a new playable map. We get a new legend. We get vehicles. And uh, we get new Zen 3 Ryzen processors. We get uh, a new what Congress. A surprise, my friend. The house always is up for election every two years, so you always get a new Congress every two years. In fact, they number the Congresses. It's like however old the country is, divide it by two, and that's whatever Congress it is. So, I don't know the math off the top of my head, but it could be like the 178th Congress. It may look a lot like the old Congress, or even exactly like the old Congress, but It's sort of like football teams. You can like a particular football team. Again, what Ski was saying, it's a little bit like sports fandom. But uh, year by year, something always changes. They may get a new punter. They may have a left tackle retire. But no football team is ever exactly the same two years in a row. What can I do for you? I found it. Kill gives you the mold that matches the broken key. This should not take long. So we've talked politics, computer hardware, sports ball. Congratulations on your Eagles maintaining first place. Oh, baby. Uh, the fact they were able to do that without Glenn Fry makes it even more extraordinary. Um let you guys try to figure that joke out uh I, anything else we need to talk on controversial should we talk about religion uh that'll be a pass okay we have to wait five minutes yep Prepare to do some crafting while we're back here. Fantastic. You want to grow me a bunch of stuff so I can uh, catch up on my cooking? Uh, yeah, sure. I have 40, 461 uh, ithalum on me. I probably don't need to polish all of them. In fact, a lot of the recipes call for unpolished gems. I think that's why I haven't been polishing them. Ithil jewelry. This is all just rep jewelry, too, isn't it? Isn't it basically useless? Um, I don't know. If that's don't the case. Much. Disenchanting this item will yield all the ingredients used to make it. Yeah. That was weird. I can make tokens. Minus Ithil ingots and Ithilham. This is one of the recipes that calls for unpolished gems. So if you actually polish all of your Minas Morgul gems, you can't make those. It's a little strange. Donnie says, I know you know if you do. Ski says, no thank you.
Q would probably be rather not discuss religion also, so that seems to be a universal pass. Do we have a forge here? Yeah, it's back by the NPC. Oh, we were at the forge. I am not a smart man. Perfect, I can craft and eat on camera. We'll get two Tedmits knocked out at the same time. It's bonus crafting weekend as well. So speaking of religious topics, I'm extremely unhappy with Buddha. But when I say that, I mean Buddha Baker. He's a uh, defensive player for the Arizona Cardinals. He picked off a Russell, Russell Wilson pass and ran it back for a touchdown. He was very unhappy about it. Or I think he almost did. And then um, one of the wide receivers actually ran him down and tackled him from behind. Uh, DJ Metcalf. Huge burst of speed. The guy had a 20-yard lead on him, and he actually caught him before he could get in the end zone. But uh, the Seahawks took their first loss of the year. It was very disappointing. 34-38 or something like that. Uh, I'm just glad you didn't uh, commit Hari Kari after losing one game. Well, it would be nice to have the perfect season, but we'll have to work on it next year. We'll just have to settle for a glorious Super Bowl victory this year. So I heard Alapena is in quarantine and he may have tested positive for the Rona. news to me. Well, this was mentioned to me in passing by somebody who saw him talking about it on stream today, so. Best wishes go out to all up in you. Definitely. Hopefully he'll have enough strength to uh, continue to play and stream video games throughout this ordeal. chamber in his home. Unlock the tiny locked box in the hidden chamber. The key clicks in the lock. Inside the box you find a small shard of glass and nothing else. Oh, it must be what Mrs. Mustafa was wanting to put into my bacon and eggs. Bring the glass shard to Gandalf inside the Bjorning Hus. This is the treasure! Gandalf may know what to make of the strange glass shard. Look for him at the Bjorning Hus. We ride for the Bjorning Hus and for glory.
Yeah, as for completing those, like, Dale men, it's like, uh, the dwarves and elves, I'm not totally sure what it takes to do all that stuff. They're, they're probably dailies, I guess. Or tasks, or whatever. I noticed last week I did not have my camera portrait completely covering the text box, so I moved it because that was bugging me when I watched the video feed. Did you learn anything key. about the broken key given to Finish you by Gothmog? There's a hidden writing here. Galandriel. It is suspected from the very outset. Oh, it is It is as I suspected from the very outset. I did not think we could find the means to reveal it, but you have done so. There is a moving radiance held within this glass. It reminds me of something. You must read the secret writing in the black book, Galandriel. Let me know if you are ready to do so. I am ready, Gandalf, and hopefully we can do it uh, in a fellowship and not have to break up. It is time to hear the rest of Vowen's tale. Gipio checking in. Hello, Gipio. Hey, Gipio. Speaking of awful, horrible games that nobody should what ever play, I had Vowen the pleasure of playing, of playing some memory. Apex last night Let with Gipio and them, Puppet my Box. Friend. And it was very challenging, and we seemed to run into uh, groups of hardened killing assassins everywhere we went. Uh, my lack of skill and talent and imagination did not help us very much. Uh, but it was a pleasure to hang out with those guys. I had a lot of fun and hopefully we'll get to do that again soon. So let's see what Gandalf has to say about the Halls of Memory. What further secrets might we uncover here? Purple Haze! All in my brain! Seems our dwarf went to Mordor in search of Aramur. To Mordor I went then, seeking word of my vanished friend, Gandalf reads aloud. Blah blah, blah 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 blah. I will find you, my friend. More purple haze? Also, why we are talking about the uh, health and well-being of former Lotro stream team members. Uh, love and light go out to SKDX Killer. He has been under the weather over the last couple weeks. Uh, he's feeling a little better and uh, actually popped online for a while today. But uh, he's not sure exactly what's wrong. And... Uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll recover from what's been ailing him in the not-too-distant future. It is not corona-related.
a pumpkin disease that is transferred to humans? I believe you might be correct, Gipio. Using dark arts, he drained the life from many of my knights. They were transformed into Cargul, wraths of evil that exist only to serve him. That is a sad fate. Death would be better. So thought Kalatur, but he did not have the chance. He was the first to be changed. Our other friends remain in the dungeon. Time was no friend of ours, Gandalf reads aloud. Like a grinding wheel, time moved ever onward, Gandalf reads. But the grinding wheel showed no mercy. Time moved onward, reads Gandalf. Hear the words of Aernar. Do not leave the tower without alerting the Lord of the Nazgul. The same cannot be said for Orthodel. That must be the name of his sword, I take it. Would send the sword away as far away as can be managed. Let this be my last act of defiance. How can this be done? Earl Lang and McGinnis live still within the dungeons. Actually, it's a Mac illness. Give one of them the sword and a path to escape. I will. They need a distraction. be further hidden runes elsewhere, Gandalf insists.
Gandalf turns more pages, peering through the glass at each one. Ah, uh, here we are, Gandalf says with satisfaction. Every time I... Every step I took in those dungeons was... The heaviest of my life, reads Gandalf. Farewell, my friend. Good luck to you. Goodbye, Orlang. I am sorry. He made Orlang the uh, distraction, I guess. Prisoners escaping eastward, he went toward the bounds. Yep. Boy, way to sick the dogs on him, Bowen. It's kind of a douchey move. This is hard reading, Gandalf says, looking up from the pages of the Black Book. The sword at least never came back to Imlad Morgul. It was not so with poor Orlain. <sighs> Just a sad tale. Much that was obscured from us now seems clear. Find Have a wagon you forgotten carrying why I came this on way? The road through Lairled, beside the Gladden Fields. Silver's last journey. Kermite says, Hi, Big Ed. I hope you're Coke zeroing the night away. I am. Donnie says, the annoying, annoying, annoying. Talk to you tomorrow when you're on your way. I'm yours. Clean talk to you later. Bye. Good night, everybody. Donnie, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. And you have a terrific weekend. As I mentioned last week, uh, Donnie uses a speech-to-text converter to talk in chat. So deciphering what he actually means is a little challenging from time to time. But he's a good guy, and uh, I enjoy having him hang out with us. Hard hit checking in. Hello, hard hit. We are at Wood's Edge.
So apparently that cursed sword smuggled out of uh, New Lad Morgul was Galadir's sword later on. Um, I guess so. That's kind of what the story said. I didn't want to read the whole thing. I, I wasn't paying as much attention this time, so I <laughs> kind of forget. Yeah, okay. I sense the presence of evil. Why does he think you're there evil? There is a singer? dreadful presence here, but I cannot Let's see the, the source, source of, of the dread by the wagon. Bagari the Wanderer has come to this place enveloped by a feeling of dread. Hello, Bagari. I remember now. It was lost to me, but now it has returned. I want to confess to you what I saw and what I did. I want one among the living to know of my misdeeds. And then there is something I must do. Will you heed me? Do not forget this is a creature of evil, but I think we should heed it. Let us hear what Vagari has to say. My story begins long ago, so very long ago. This is great content when you're trying to get a plate of bacon and eggs down. This is my tale. Hear it and know from whence I came. Isildur took me to Foster and gave me a new name, Terendil. I grew up with his sons and they were his brothers to me. By the time I was a man, I had won a number of victories on Isildur's behalf. Indeed, after the Battle of Terralang's blah blah blah, where's my halt? There it is. Story of forbidden love that could not be spoken of uh, openly. Kind of like the way a man might feel about his prison wife, Zinger. Why secretly? King Ryak had pledged peace to my people, but he still hated the men of Numenor. Braventel knew this, but the ways of the heart are not those of the mind. Revealing the truth of our love would destroy the peace between our peoples, so we said nothing. But then Braventel bore me a son. She named him Hale. It was then that Ryak learned the truth. Hale had been born with blue eyes, uncommon but not unknown among the wild men. Their eyes sometimes did not darken until they reached the age of two. But Hale's eyes did not darken, and his pale skin and black hair betrayed his Numenorean blood. Riot confronted Braventel, threatening to kill her child, and she confessed the truth. She said she had loved Adunadan, but she would rather die than betray his name. 
and Sinsrak ordered his warriors to set down their spears. He swore eternal enmity with Gondor and declared he was breaking his oath. The men of the mountain would not fight against Sauron. That won't come back and bite them. And so the curse of the Sildur was levied against them. He refused, always did Isildur refuse me this one request. I brought desperate search to the Vale of Morthon, but could not find signs of the Wildmen. Their villages were abandoned, peopled only by bones. The Hill of Eric had become a blighted and fearful place. I followed the few signs I could find into the mountains to the source of the Black Root. Deep within the darkness of the mountain tunnels, I found that I came too late. The wild men had all died. Some had perished by starvation or disease. Others had killed one another or themselves. Riach lay among them, his own sword buried in his heart. But that was not the worst of it. The Sildur's curse had taken hold. I was chased from those tunnels by the shades of Riach and his household. From the top of the hill of Eric, he vowed, or he howled his rage and fury at me. In-laws, am I right? I know now who despoiled my daughter, faithless invader from beyond the sea. She and that child will remain with me forever. Shade of Terrandil says nothing, dwelling upon his old sorrows. The pieces fall into place. Terrandil's confession has not yet ended. If he will say more, we must listen. I have more to tell him. Though it caused me pain. Never before had I known such despair. I knew the power of Sauron. Had it not taken the greatest kings of both elves and men to defeat him? Even then the effort had taken both their lives. 
any might have the power to end the suffering of Braventel and Hale. Might it be Sauron? Have you heard about Darth Plagueis the Wise? against those who deserve it. First, you must go to the temple and kill the younglings. Oh, different storyline. The wretch who stole my master's ring must not be allowed to keep it. Heal him and bring it to Mordor, and death will be your reward. Or you could just slip in the bathtub like most people. That's a pretty complicated request for that reward, I would say. I tell you true, I would count their broken oaths repaired for this deed. Say you, Terrendil. I'm sad my girlfriend's dead. I will go with you on that road. For every step of that journey, I imagine many ways a Sildur could die. I would need to escape with the ring. He was always surrounded by knights. That was when I saw the orcs. At dawn, I crept away from the camp and slipped away. Hey, Gurnak, how would you like to kill the King of Gondor? Why betray your king? Because he deserves death. I ask for only three things. First, my life. Second, escape. And the third, his body. I warn you, traitor, cross me and you will keep your life, but only so you will know torments the like of which you have never dreamed. Much has been made clear to me by Tarendil's confession. Tarendil's confession draws to its close. The second attack was more fierce than the first had been. Isildur's defeat seems certain.
<laughs> Excuse me. Bless ya. Discarded armor. Armor lay among the reeds discarded. <laughs> Excuse me again. Isildur swam and I pursued him. Being back in Evendon. We'll go there next for all the uh, Floyd duets. Okay. Next pain and elation. Tired as I was, as sick in heart and body as a man can be, I had to finish this. Father, do you still have it? Does the ring remain safe? It is gone. It left me in the water. I am forsaken and I am free. No! Must have been lying. His body, I need his body. That's what Mrs. Mustafa says about me all the time. I will find it and pry the ring from his dead hand. Curse you, Isildur, curse you. Raventel and Hale were innocent. You are gone with the current and the ring with you. But for men such as me, death was no escape. So he killed himself out of despair right after his uh, father was murdered. Now he fills us with dread. My dagger cut deeply, and I perished. I desired to confess my treachery, and I have done so. I do not forgive you, Tarendil. My son not of blood, but of choice. I think if there was a time when these arrows or these sorrows might have been avoided had you spoken freely to me in life. I set aside my vengeance. There is no suffering I could impose that you have not inflicted upon yourself. Go then and endure the punishment you earned, the punishment you created. Be gone. Shade of Terrandil bows his head and fades from view. Hearing the tale of Tarendil in its fullness fills me with both satisfaction and regret. Our journey must continue, Galandriel. One oath may yet be fulfilled. We must continue on to Rivendell. We ride for Rivendell. And for glory. Thank you, Hard Hit. Hard Hit said, bless you, and I sneezed.
Are we riding? No, you can run a ride. It's all the way up at the top. Wagon bearing the bones of a Sildur has come a long way from Gondor. After the passage of so many years, I have come at last to Rivendell, as was my vow. Aerner should not be left to rot within Minas Morgul Galandriel. Did I say he died in Gothmog? As Gothmog? Nay, he died as Aerner. Descended through many generations from my brother who perished on the fields before Baradur. It is my hope that the body of Aerner will be recovered and given a king's rest. This is my final request, Galandriel. Farewell. His vow fulfilled, the shade of Isildur at last knows peace. Isildur and the ring came to Rivendell long years after he so vowed. Now both are gone from the world. I've now translated them, Galandriel, and can properly tell you the ending to Vowen's tale. Are you ready to finish our study of the Black Book of Mordor and close it for good? Yes, please. These runes were not made by Vowen's hand. They were made by another. What secrets did she add to the Halls of Memory? Bozina. I wonder. It was the year 2051 that Vowen went south in search of his vanished friend, the lost king of Gondor. He fell in with such wicked dwarves as he could find. In their company, he made his way past the bounds of Mordor. Could have survived such an experience unchanged, but by my beard I say none could have done better than my Bowen. I miss him every day. the depth of the evil in that place overmastered Bowen's hopeful heart, and the words of his friend proved true. The day Bowen feared came at last. The Witch King's domination was complete. Aerner was given new raiment and a new name. Mordrith. The years of torment, he remembered neither his friends nor their adventures. Bowen was but one wicked dwarf among many who served in Minnesota. 
He tried to remind Aerner of his old life, but it was to no avail. Use that name in my presence and I will have you slain. I meant no offense, it will not happen again. See that it does not. Tell my master I will join him presently at Bar Nernaith. The Mistress of Lamentation has a task for me. Yes, of course. Thank you for your mercy, Mordereth. I know it was painful for him. I know it was painful for him. Most of all, he wrote of Aerner, the lost king of Gondor, and his dearest friend. It would be the only record of the man Aerner had been before he fell into the net of the Witch King. When Vohan could not find, when Bo Vohan could find no more words to write, he found a plain coffer in the city and fashioned two keys to open it. One of the keys he kept, the other he set beneath hammer and broke the end. Presented that broken key to the wraith who had once been his friend. What is this? I need no gifts from Morgul's slaves. This gift is not from me, it is from your master. The Lord of the Nazgul wants you to keep this key on your person. You will unlock a mighty weapon, a weapon that cannot be overcome. The key is broken. There is not a can unlock. The tests of your Nazgul and Master are no concern of mine. I have done my duty, Mordereth. Farewell, I say. Farewell. Owen left Minas Morgul then, walking as if he were its master and could not be harmed. I had some questions, she writes. Our home in Yarnfast needed some repair and Vohan wished to construct something else. A secret chamber, perhaps? Where one might hide a black book? One wanted to build a secret chamber in which to hide the book he had written. Good guess on my part. In time, my husband felt the onset of his years and knew his end approached. There was one last journey for us to make, and then he would be satisfied with the life he had lived. Jeremiah the Bear says, I thought the storyline was done well. It's good stuff. Three of us journeyed westward to the Grey Mountains.
Is he really going to find the far gathel? What do you believe, Tazgo? I hope so, I think so. And you should find this book after a year or two or ten. Know that Vowen and Borth Bozina and their son Tazco were happy with their lot. Despite the difficulties of their time, they knew that even a hopeless night must come to an end. And then then there would always be good hearted folk, ready and eager to greet the dawn. I am pleased to know the end of the tale. So that's it. Yep. All right. Looks like we're supposed to attempt to ant enter Geshan Kutot. Or now you're ready for fall festival. Ginger checking in. Hello, Ginger. fancy cat. Nice. Jealous? Thought so. What you want to do? Uh, well, let's look at our fun agenda. There's still a lot of Imlad Morgul on the list. Uh, enter the Remmer chant we don't want to do because that's a raid. Veil of Sorcery, that's a repeatable. Uh, Ungol, Lost Lore of the Morgul Veil. Imlad Morgul, Continued Threats. Those are all repeatables. Yep, that's part of the weekly wrappers. There should be two quests for that. The Reclamation, Veil of Sorcery. Apparently I have a lot of lost lore still in Mordor to go hunt down. Let's not do that tonight. Talus Uroi quests, allegiance quests. That all sounds horrible. Anvils of Winterstith. Fields of Anduin. The Wells of Langflood. 
History of Averbarg. Oh, I never defeated the Gloom of Nern. Uh, well, I guess we either run Minas Morgul dailies or we can go take a look at the next area. Uh, you guys are fine with me. Um, like, really, what you're going to get out of the Minas Morgul dailies are embers, some virtue XP, uh, and those, those uh, relic things. Mm hmm. And upon, like, uh, getting to the next tier of the relics, you unlock more of the Reclamation storyline. Well, we can do dailies if you want, but it's up to you. Alright, let's run a few. Alright, I'll take us to... Mm -hmm. Although you, you probably want to go to Evernight and do the uh, Fall Festival so you can hit level 70. <laughs> What makes you think I didn't already hit level 70? <laughs> Our Wednesday night group is having a problem in that we're leveling faster than we anticipated and or even want to. We're trying to do some uh, Moria content and I mean, we're all already hitting level 58, 59. I thought you already wrote out. Where are we going? Uh, 8 Caduel. Oh, okay. That's where the uh, pickups are. Where the, the, Let us hope you bring Caduel glad things. tidings, friend. Then we ride for Ikadulal. Alright. Chair stream hype. I'm going to grab a Coke Zero. I'll be right back. I'll see you when I get there. I'm back. Welcome back. I have found the last of the generic Walmart branded Cheez-Its. And there is no generic version of crisp, delicious, and refreshing Coke Zero. There's simply no substitute. And that is good stuff.
I guess we could just go ahead and start the uh, War of the Three Peaks tonight. Yeah, just uh, send me a hundred bucks. <laughs> um, Yep, I'm free to play, so we gotta wait until it shows up in the retro store for points. And I'm just playing too, so. You at least did subscribe at one time, I never have. Not that you shouldn't. VIP is of wonderful value for the money, it enhances your gameplay experience and helps you maximize your fun. I just have to keep all of my money so I can spend it on Cheez-Its and Coke Zero. Alright, so the guy on the right, you can... I don't know which ones we're going to run, but... Uh, you can pick up all three quests. Okay. But they're just things that you have it's to pick up like, while you're doing the instances. Be wary, my friends. Each, each one is like... Evil spoils you know, you can these find, grounds. Uh, but it's not Terry. Like the steel in two of the instances, you know, yada yada. Okay. And the one on the left, um, we'll just pick them up the quest as we do uh, that instance. So um, let's do grab the two harrowing of Morgo ones. Okay. Now then. Got them. And then now uh, you can start up harrowing you of Morgo. If we, I don't know what the difference is with the loop between uh, two player and three player, but if we want, like some people just run these at like level one twenty one, just because it's really just getting the quest done. So if we want, we could do it three man at level one twenty one, and we should be fine. Okay, and these are instances we need to start. Yep. Yep. Same. That'll be pretty much the same thing as the instances that you know we've done already. And they're in the instance finder. Mm -hmm. So it should be a harem of Margot. And if you want, you can set it to uh, size 3 and level 121. Or we can do them two man at like a higher level. It's up to you. I'm good. Harrowing, three man. Let's do it at 124. Um, that sound okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I don't I don't know how hard you know it'll be at 124, but we'll give it a try. Do we want two man or three man? I don't know if we got more rewards from doing it three man. I don't know either. It'll be fun to figure it out. Uh, if we get wiped up to the first in an attempt to repel the force as a wolf of the court in the rangers of Achilles, Kothmog's forces have fortified the outermost range to destroy the first Morgul, barricade. Believing the ire between Ugrakor and Kothmog might be turned to your advantage, Gamrod has captured you igniting a war between the orcs and Minas Morgul. Stopping to do the branch. A little past this, there's a supply back here.
These orcish weapons will be the others I need to pick up. Last her. Mustafa. You can hear her sneezing all the way out in the other room. Did not make it. How did you destroy the barricade? It didn't light up for me. I just have to run like right up to it. It automatically uh, uh, it just breaks when you touch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's handy. I think you have to like clear all the enemies in that part, and then it will blow up and get it.
he did not make it. That's weird that rack's not lit up for me. Uh, I probably think this one will. You probably finished already. Oh, okay. Like those orcs aren't even really fighting that hard. Biggie, that's my fault. Take a breather. It's important that you not get knocked, you're the smart one. And my champion's revive is still on cool down. Has been for the last 13 and a half years. Bummer. Tell me about it. And your uh, champion shield has also been broken. It has, it's been sundered. Anything to loot, or are we just leave in the instance? No, oh, yeah, chest right there. Darshag silver chest. Ooh, you got no, a gold no. twinned, gold twined ring. Nice. An Antla scroll of empowerment. And like the loot is such a way that like uh, that it can be shared while you're still in the fellowship. So like if there are two uh, mic classes, they could pass a loot onto a, another one. Okay. Chat's gone strangely quiet. We haven't talked about food enough. Mm -hmm. Now then, be wary, my friends. Evil spoils these grounds. Yeah, 
because there's there's like a quest to do ten of these quests, and then another one to complete four instances. So, and each one the reward like five hundred embers, rich XP, a shard, some of those relics, sigils. Hardened Iron Torque. And those two quests together give you like, because uh, I think it's like 70 of the sigils each, so you'll just want to kind of keep an eye out on your sigil total, make sure you don't uh, hit 999. Otherwise, anything over that is you know, basically just wasted until you spend some. These are sigils of what? Um, sigils of Inlad Ithel. Eight twenty six of nine ninety nine. Okay, yeah, you, you might hit it. I, I don't know. So, you know, if you need to, you can just run over to the the, uh, the quartermaster guy, and like, I don't know if there's a relic that you need or a uh, legendary relic that you might that you could use. Uh, you want to do more? Sure. Um, I'll let you pick what, what what do you want to do. Well, isn't there something else we're supposed to be collecting? Uh, the so the other two things, yeah. Um, so there's deep lichen and the smooth stones, and those can be found. You lurk away, Gipio. We're just glad you're here, bud. So, the, so those, like those lichen and stuff, is found in the um, either the deep barrow. Or, I guess, the filth well. Alright, let's go check out the deep barrel. Okay. Now then. Will you help bear my burden, friend? When we're ready to travel. Yep. Go ahead, start the instance. Okay. I think it's, uh, I, I guess it'll be two man. I think that's like a one, two, or six man or something like that. So just a two man version shall do. Level 150? 160, please. Saint Verse says, "When are we getting the Brawler class?" Um, that's a good question. You know, one of the things I was just talking with uh, somebody last night. I won't mention him by name because I'm not sure if it was Gibeo or Puppet Fox. But one of the things that kind of baffled me a little bit is if they're adding new classes to or new races to the game, they already added the Earthkin. Why not make playable Earthkin and you could have them like a Barbarian class or like you said a Brawler class. But I mean the Bjorning kind of almost already fit that role, so... rooms
Ethel Scarn. I remember that conversation. Must have been Puppet Box. I don't know, I know some people didn't like the Earthkin. There's a good question for chat. How do you feel about Earthkin? Do you like the Earthkin? Do you empathize with the Earthkin? Are you upset that the Earthkin aren't part of the original story lore? Because I was going to make a blanket statement, and I don't know that it's true. So, what's your opinion? Take a breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part is uh, tough because on DX9, I don't see any of the boxes underneath oh. the uh, ones. I probably should just go to DX10 at least. I don't really don't know why I'm still on DX9. Mm. must be stopped. So what do y'all think of the Earthkin? Would you like to see the Earthkin as a playable race? Terrible idea, terrific idea. Learn how to play an elf champion before you start popping off about anything else, Big Ed. Perfectly valid reaction. dead just from running back here.
Alright, we ready? Sure. Disease, come forth! Power to it! Attack! seem to be able to uh, out heal it. I'd have gotten back sooner, but I had to stop and heal on the way here. Yep. Jeremiah the Bear says, Well, the Earthkin were a peaceful people that wanted to remain out of the affairs of everyone else. I don't know that playing one would fit in since their story is to be cut off from the rest of the world in a way. Well, some of the Earthkin bought in with the Ang Marine, and then you have others that were friends to the Rangers of Estelda. down this other hallway. 
Probably. This all just loop around. It pretty much all loops around. Uh, in order to do like the uh, quest, you pretty much have to loop around everywhere. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where we go. are almost as toxic as me when I'm playing Apex Legends. Jeremiah says, that is true, but as a whole they weren't about being part of the War of the Ring normally. Well, and yet we're playing Bjorning. So we're not part of the War of the Ring. For the sake of the game, we found an entire veil full of Bjorning. Why could we not just have a new area that's full of Earthkin? And the Earthkin want to go questing and adventuring, like the Bjorning, who weren't part of the War of the Ring. If you can, Zinger, try to avoid those spike traps. Just saying. Yeah, the one's got gotcha. Maybe you could add the Earthkin to the Etten Moors and you could play as one aligned with Mordor. And they could be like the Bjorning of the Creepside. That could be something. Care about the idea one way or the other, but it's a point of conversation. I'm not trying to sell anybody on the idea. I'm trying to get a read of the room. Zinger hates the idea himself. Yeah.
What are you at? Uh, seven each? Six of eight on corrupted runes and defiled bones. I must have missed one of each somewhere. There's one at the beginning, right, right back in the same room. We're we not going to find it anymore? I found the bones. Nope, I didn't find these bones. Okay. I think there's a couple in the final room. I mean, we're not like done the thing, so okay. we'll find more. I think they put in plenty more than you need. We're having so much fun in here, I figured it would be great to just go the second time. I love like these using power drain. Yeah. And some of the forsaken uh, spike preps. highly annoying. They just um, keep they spawning in there? Now if we could only get the race change in the game before adding a new race. Windows 10 updates. Yeah, Jim Jim, every time Windows 10 updates, it's like trying to figure out what the heck's going on with your computer all over again. My Logitech 533, I had to uninstall my headset for my device manager, uninstall the drivers, restart the PC, and then reinstall the drivers. Undefiled bones.
You already killed the boss? Yes, I killed it, then I unkilled it, then I re-killed it. Okay. Thank you. We still have something over there left to kill. We can leave him be. We can bear witness to our awesomeness. Tell your friends how lucky you are to be alive after Zinger and Big Ed were here. Bye. Like we both had the same problem. Will you hear my plight? Too much stuff. Oh, just, you know, this, uh, 
Go down on the left. Um, if you go to like barter yeah, items, man. you can also trade in those relics we've been getting for uh, crafting recipes. Oh, okay. Requires like a certain tier of that, the reclamation rep stuff. But um, I think this stuff can be crafted without the need Let for these like special ingredients. Friend. I think it's not as good as like the recipes that you have, but it doesn't require all that special stuff, so it's a little easier to make them. So that's that's where some of the um, crafting recipes fall under. So they have tier three and tier four recipes. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. There's like you know basic ones that require. I don't know if it's completion or what have you. The third tier of reclamation, and then ones that require, you know, for the on that order. Okay. But I don't know if it's better to max out the reclamation rep before you then spend the bear Let us hope you extra bring recipes glad tidings, or the extra friend. relics on the crafting recipes, but by that time you probably don't even need the drawer anymore. So, yeah. So, um... So if we wanted to, if we wanted to finish that third one, we'd either want to do the Halls of Black Lore or the Houses of Lamentation. The Halls of Black Lore is that one that you know, like fight several uh, bosses that we faced in the past. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do Houses of Lamentation. Will you hear my plight? All right, pick up those three. Let us hope you bring glad tidings, friend. Now then. We ride for the Houses of Lamentation. And for glory. And for lamentation. can do it as one, two, or six man. I chose two man. Good idea. I thought so. Nothing None more annoying than that last been to the day. houses of lamentation. And yet, no here are the living no and the deathless, uninvited and uninitiated. I have not forgotten the rights of old master. The Morloth shall soon drink of their blood. There is flesh to be flensed, and there are minds to be broken. And all shall be left naked before the lips eye. So what do you have for dinner? Sorry? For dinner. Oh, um... We were just kind of picking away at the fridge before Mrs. Mustafa made uh, bacon and eggs. Nice. I had a couple pieces of leftover fried cod and a slice of pizza. Here. It was kind of a late lunch. We're going out with friends this weekend, so if you want to get anything too involved going for dinner. Suited me just fine. What are we doing with these things? Destroy them.
Cardiot's favorite is bacon wrapped bacon. Deep fried and bacon with grease. save you. You're welcome. Should we try fishing in the blood? Always need to carry a fishing pole in Middle Earth, people. Every place is fishable. You have to try it and see what you can catch. See if you can fish out a glove or like a no boot. I'm a bronco or something. Yeah. Ball of gunk. Three casts. Let's see what we get. So we've done crafting, fishing, eating on camera, inventory management. I haven't been able to do task item turn-ins because I haven't had any turn-inable tasks or task items. Or I couldn't get to the board where I needed to turn in tasks. My English no good. Old boot. All of gunk. I guess we have to start on the new zone a bit so I can get the uh, port there. Oh. Yep. And so I can use the task guy on board. Yeah, yeah that's what we do for. Third catch. Let's see what we get. Rusty dagger. We have fished. We have caught no fish. Pretty cool when these things pop. Not gonna probably, lie, I like it. Probably one of my favorite like clickies on clicky things in the game. Uh, so we can go up and do this little box here. Okay. So I'm only at seven out of ten on blood reserves. We'll find more. Oop, got lost in it. Oh, um, did you really? I got I'm sorry. Okay, it's an easy box to grab it. Ad coming. We transfer yeah. into a new body. All the bosses in this one are easy, so. Yeah. Okay, next to that last instance, that next thing is easy. Six sigils just from that fight. Yep. Ha! 
They did not make it. And this is why, like, you don't like worry too much about, you know, killing everything. Because by doing these dailies every week, you it's pretty easy to finish off the um, slayers. I mean, like, these quests reset every day, but the rappers reset on Thursdays. So as you know, most people just do them like once a week, for, like the uh, rappers. Six of eight on blood reserves. Jeremiah says, would you even really want to catch any fish that came from that blood bath? Sure. Probably take a break. Just a quick breather. You look like you could use some healing. No, oh, this is just one more fight, guys. Last two blood reserves. And this is the boss you want to make sure you're standing right on the grate here. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, pal. There's a, to the lucky hole. There's a, yeah, I had indeed for jumping in there. That's where the candy stash is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really Wonka's lair. What were you saying was down here? through mm -hmm. what's that area by Ostgaruth called that we fish all the time circle of blood 
Circle um, of Blood is good fishing. You can catch trout there. Circle of Despair. No, Circle of Despair is in, uh... In, uh oh, okay. It's all the red water outside of Ostkaru. Sure, it's Circle of Blood. We can go up here, start it, and we don't have to stick around, stick around for it. Unless you want to listen to me again. No. Uh, the roots will be kind of scattered around from here to the end. are scattered far and wide. Did I miss something back there? Yeah, go around here, there's a root of pain. I keep losing you in the rocks, you're too short. the uh, talk. I'll go grab some branches while I'm waiting. Okay. Yakety yakety yak. And a boss where the tree can only be damaged by corruption or limit skills. I just hope they don't figure out they can bury Sauron in the pet cemetery. Ooh. That is some bad mojo.
Holy cow. Yes, huh? This is just a lot of talking. Yeah. I think some people have wanted their bead way to like uh you know, skip it, like click on something to skip the dialogue. It's fine the first time, but you know, after the next couple times of doing it, you're just like, come on, get along with it. <laughs> I think Agath Kali just completed uh, more of those Slayer Advanced. Vulnerable? Uh, only corruption removal skills. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Yeah, champion is nice because it's got that that skill can like remove it like multiple times or has a chance to. I think that chest usually only has money in it. Sometimes it has a piece of gear, but I usually like just money. money. Not a huge fan of money, but I find the people that I owe it to are very concerned about it. Mm -hmm. We can kind of just go here, drop down, should be some more routes on our way to the final boss. Or ruts, if you say it that way. Okay, dead with roots. I was the first to bleed before Morlos. This is the one where there's is too large. Black, uh, the dire, the kill, profane. And kill her. I guess technically you can probably. Because she basically just runs to the roots and basically keep on healing her up, but you can probably out damage her. But I think you start to kill the roots. Uh, I have heard every combat. desperate promise, every lamentation, every. You can just stay on her. I'll do the roots. Okay. Yours too shall go unanswered. What have they done? I got bad news for you. I'm a red line champion. I, um, you are not gonna make it. Right now you can go back the chest. 
only way to defeat the red line champ is if the game cheats. That is my story. New deed, the trial of sorrow. Nice. I can read those things when we're really done. And I think when you turn in the quest, it'll complete one of the wrappers. Uh, if you want, you can check if your sigils are, you know, if you have 70, uh, I guess if you're at like 930 or above, you might want to turn some in. GG. Will you help bear my burden, friend? Oh, I required 58 sigils. Yeah, yeah, that, I wasn't sure if you were. Some currency was lost due to reaching the currency cap. Yeah, no big deal. New deed, the reclamation continues three. Yeah, so we finished that wrapper. The only wrapper we have left is the one just to do. We just have to do one of the instances. Uh, hit 4-4, four, four. but uh, you probably want to stop and just barter for something at the Quartermaster. I know eventually there's a, I think you unlock it by unlocking a certain tier of the Reclamation where you can turn in 100 sigils for 500 embers, like once a week or so. Let us hope you bring glad tidings, friend. I bring good tidings of great joy. I think I just put one of these on my one-handed sword, didn't I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you put on whatever works for you. Glowing Ithil Ruin of Striking. Critical plus base combat damage. Yeah, you put on like the a version that was a little better than this one. Um, from that box. This one's like it's, it's almost as good as that one, it's a little lesser. And the you know, the first three or five hundred uh, sigils, everything else is three fifty. So like you could wait until you find another one of those boxes and get it from there and you'll get a slightly better room you could put because you have two swords right you have a, mm -hmm. a one here. Right, Ginger. Well, Ginger, have a good one. Thanks for chatting us up so much. Glad you were here. So we'll get to hang out with you more this weekend. It's sealed. I gotta go to a room. Or room, you know, that one dude. That Forge and Relic Master. It's a brain problem. Oh, this is far from fair, Ethelian. 
far from fair Ethereum. Let's go to that two-handed sword that I use so much. I just replaced an insightful ruin of deflection and just created another one. Oh well, no bother. Oh. House of Lamentation completed. Why can I not turn that in then? Oh, sometimes they just they're still on your quest tracker even though you turned it in uh you just have to like remove it from the quest tracker i guess that's a bug or something okay well, that's delightful So if we wanted to do one more to finish off that other wrapper, probably just do Shadow Roost. Shadow Roost it is. Faith alone will not stop the enemy. We ride for the Shadow Roost and for glory. And I think we're gonna fight a fell beast. Sorry, there's no 12th man. Oh, shucks. Okay, we'll do an epic battle 12th man after this. Okay. Kipio, have a good rest of your stream, Ed. Good night to all. I am off to bed. Have a good night, Kipio. Hopefully, we'll get to hang out with you more this weekend, too. Take care, bud. Shadow Roost. It is said to be home to Katlob, the terrible winged brood mother of the fell beasts of Mordor, Seasonal whose vapor. countless children become favored mounts of the Nazgul. We probably shouldn't have that stuff. I've been hearing bad things about vaping. Don't do it, boys and girls. And the eggs are kind of scattered around like there's one before the bridge. Off to the right. I know, I just like murdering orcs. So I think. What about giant trolls? What's before the bridge and off to the right? Go out to the left. It'll be a little nook. It'll be a little eggs to pop. Yeah. They'll be scattered across all instances. I've I stuck it back there by that fire. They're trying to cook it. What if Mrs. Mustafa cooked me fell beast egg omelet tonight for dinner? Just like her. My anger builds! Thank you. 
Oop, I'm dead. I got launched. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought I was pretty straight on with that troll, but I was at just enough of an angle. trouble because I had to go get my own Coke Zero Pookie. Mm, I think that's what you should be doing. No. If I wanted to get my own Coke Zero, I would have stayed single and happy. What? I mean, I love you. Eggs, like the Flintstones eat, exactly. Good and good for you. Alright, try not to get launched off of this bridge if you can help it. My anger fails! His anger builds. Possibly just like those rolls. We can uh, punt you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, he wasn't even aggro of me. Walked right up to him, he was just standing still, that's so why I walked away to go get that egg. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he need automatically starts. Okay, I'll talk or something. Like or I guess he needs to be a person. Did not make it. I love the tiny little chests, they're so adorable. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually usable. <laughs> the eggs again. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. The eggs have begun to hatch! Quickly, toss the egg into the cabin below! Yeah. 
The eggs have begun to hatch! Quickly, toss the egg into the cavern below! Come on, little fella. We're going to see if he can fly before you even break out of your shell. Nope. No, he can't. Oh. It's okay. Somebody caught him in a pan down at the bottom. Yep. Maybe Mrs. Mustafa. Scrambled him up with some onions and mushrooms. All right, I'm done doing my Dio Papa imitation. We can move on. Thank you, hard hit. Hard hit has blessed me once again. Get the buffalo sauce, we've got wings. fighting the brood mother now yep and if you get that uh poison dot on you you just have to drop a puddle and then move out of it and watch out with your um because she can knock you back pretty far so don't have your back to the cliff or, okay. like, water near it. Mentioned the poison, but I totally forgot about it. Yeah. It's that magical time of night where things are just a little foggy. Like the entire landscape right now is very foggy. Kind of watching our health bar, thinking we've almost got this. I'm like, that's weird. Why did Zinger go down? And I looked up and saw my own health. By the time I noticed it, I was like, yeah, I'm not getting out of this in time. Is this instance in Forakel? Yeah. Uh, it's all those eggs at the bottom, they're cooking up. Someone left the uh, stove on too high. So yeah, type two. Uh, yeah, expect there to be poison. Uh, yeah, I, she'll she'll put it on someone pretty quickly. So you just have to attack a bit, move out of the way. What is she watching back there? Oh, I have no idea. Singer wants to know what you're watching, honey. What? Well, we can all hear it, so we're wondering what you're watching. Oh, Rifleman. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to watch it at a slightly lower decibel reading, honey? Trying to. I don't think it was like Spongoli or something like that, I don't know.
but you have the uh, uh, you have the eye, so I just uh, keep my own poison. And I'm over the cliff. She turned on me. <laughs> yeah, I think like you you even have your back to the side. It's just uh, the bounce still off, I guess. You bounced up the uh, rock and went out. Yep. I'm gonna blame Mrs. Mustafa for distracting us. Mm, yeah, good idea. Singer's super angry at you now. Grr. She seems very concerned. Yeah, so just finishing that, I should have finished off the other uh, weekly wrapper. I was, I was playing Eve Online this afternoon. She walked in and started doing something and asking me something. The next thing I knew, I'd actually gotten my new destroyer all wiped out by Garista pirates. I'm like, what the hell was that? I was fighting like one ship and then all of a sudden like five more um, missile frigates warped in and just started blasting the crap out of me before I could even hit my armor repair. It's very dangerous for you to come over here when I'm playing video games, honey. You get me wrecked all the time. And she's like, come out and hang out with me. And I'm like, I can't. I've got to go earn the money back to go replace that ship that got destroyed. And then she has to watch bad TV alone in the living room. I think she secretly likes it that way, so she sabotages me. <clears throat> I don't hear any denials. What? Huh? Okay, let's get these last two abandoned eggs. I only needed one. Where's Zinger? Right there. Where? Right there. Oh. Somewhere it says Zinger, student of the woods. He's literally jumping up and down for you. He's like, wee! Wee. Wee. Yep. He's super thrilled to be spending his Friday night with me. Well, that should have been stopped the, uh, the daily, the weeklies, whatever. Alright. Well, I was almost out of the instance and then I jumped. I still have a bad habit of hitting my new space bar. This new keyboard has a really light touch to it. All right, sweetie, y'all good now? All right, why don't you run off, and I'll finish up the zinger here in just a little bit. That polished off. Yeah. All the stuff we had to do. That's a good deal. And I think that second, uh, that second wrapper gives you several, like the 2,000 XP or rep tokens for the reclamation. And I think all together, it's like, I think one of the quests gives you 3,000 virtue XP, the other gives you 2,000. Uh, each one should give you a uh, Ithalarn shard. And I think each one gives you 500 ember, so. Yeah. And we certainly don't have to do this every, every week. Uh, you, know, you could just do them if you really wanted to on your own time. And like you could do, uh, you know, you could do the easier ones like, you know, uh, 
like how harrowing of Marco isn't bad. So you could do like the two quests one day, and then when, whenever the date resets for the next day, you could come back and do the two quests again. Like, and that'll add up for the quest totals and whatnot. You basically just have to finish ten quests and then four instances during that week. Okay then. I know that you know they're good for embers, which you can spend at uh, the other camp for some gear and whatnot. Or you can spend them on uh, those embers on like the scrolls of the power and stuff. Oh, I've reached a virtue cap. Not on zeal, I'm only at 68. 72, 55, 54. Achoo. I guess we can start uh, cranking up the zeal. Okay, let's figure out where I can go turn in some task items. I actually have some piles of pebbled filth and stone-worn furs. Some withered ears, and then I've got a whole lot of ancient sword sheaths. Plus a bunch of sinister wings. I mean, yeah, I mean, technically we could go to uh, Bjorn House. Some of that stuff you might be able to turn in there, but you can ride to one of the areas in the well as a lag flood if you wanted to unlock that stable. I think we maxed out Veil Rep. I was trying to look earlier. Yeah, that's why I meant we could ride out to in the new area. Or not, you know, the, the Wells of the Lion Flood and hit a stable there. And, uh, Dorning House is uh, wilder folk, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I'm kindred. And then the uh, pebbled filth and the stone worn furs, I don't remember who accepts those. So if I could actually start clearing out some of the ancient sword sheaths, I'd be happy about that. There's a bunch of them. That's why I said if you want to ride uh, from Bjorn House to the new area and go to one of the camps there, we can. Okay, let's do that. It's not all that far of a ride, I believe. to remember where we saw that though we can come back for it we'll let all up in the hill stop and pick it up okay
Wells of Lang Flood. I got hit by one thing that fell off my steers. <laughs> Hard hit says you can also buy level 74 crystals too. Oh, lane flood scar and deposit. This is the same as the Minas Morgul. Yeah, it's it the same like. tier. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's an actual different ore that comes from it or not. But yeah, yeah it's, it's actually good. labeled differently. It's like it's here. the same tier though. Yeah, yeah, it's the same tier. Can't cross this river. So on the right up here there's a road that goes to the left. Look at that. Follow this road straight to Limlock. We ride for Limlock. And this will be where I'm able to get my port once we uh, once I get some tokens and whatnot. Okay. The veils must be made safe. Do what you can. Apparently the veils must be made safe. Then the task board is right over here. Bless you, task board. Please help me get crap out of my bags. I guess you should basically just park your character here and just try to pop in when you can. Yeah, that would be okay. So I just basically need to keep working on Minas Morgul dailies until Disney builds a theme park there and I know that it's family friendly and safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. And if you need a relic master, it's up the road inside that building up there. Okay. Yeah, there's not too many vendors here. Uh, but, yeah. but there's no like uh, auction there or uh, vault keeper here. Task limit reach 10 of 10. But the, the dailies for this region are there's this board right here, and mm -hmm. there's basically just like five or six small like you go in an instance you kill like a dozen goblins maybe when you come right out and you do that like five times and the polishes off gives you the same kind of rewards we got like embers and whatnot well that would be nice and that's a that's a weekly as well that resets on thursdays but that won't pop until we finish up this region all right well that's gonna wrap it up for me and zinger but don't go away. We're going to go raid El Galdawin. Be sure to pop over and say hi to her. And uh, let's support our fellow Lotro players and streamers. Give her a big Lotro stream welcome, and I'll see you guys over there. Singer and I will be back next Friday. Same bat time, same bat channel. And have a great weekend, everybody. Go Hawks! Huskers aren't playing tomorrow because Wisconsin had to cancel. Go Back till next week. Yep, and go Eagles.
fighting things I could do while doing teams. 